Do you have a small offer on your website or on a template and you just don't want another subscription? Well, we have a coded HTML timer for you with two styles. Um, and this will kind of help you get around the dreaded subscription, you know, for another thing that you probably won't need in six days and 21 hours. So this is utilizing our embed box and everything is coded within the same embed box. So you can, you know, set your date, customize your, you know, colors and stuff like that. So what we're going to want to do is you're probably already adding this to a section that has a, you know, pre-designed space. So we'll go ahead and just kind of add something. And with you, we're providing you with the HTML. So you'll want to go ahead and just set a new embed box. Um, you can make this as big or as little as you need to for now. Um, and then open it up and paste the provided code. So right away, you'll notice that we have quite a bit in here and there are specific things that we're doing. Um, first of all, at the top of the box, we're setting our style. So we know that we want a custom font. So we're setting the font family. We're telling it where to pull from. And you can do this if you have it loaded in your show it media libraries. You can go to that font click the little link icon and paste it in here. And we're telling this exactly how we want that font styled and how we want our timer styled. So we're telling it we want it centered. Um, we want it 88 pixels high. We want the font in here, the color, and so on and so forth. And right here in the middle, it seems so tiny, but it so big um, is our div class that is telling it, okay, we have a container and then our timer is going to go in here. So um, once you go down, this is going to be where your script is and it's kind of telling it, um, this is the date I want it to pull. This is the time I want it to pull. You can even put in your own um, kind of time zone. And then, you know, this is running calculations for you to kind of break down that timer script. So um, once you save it, you'll kind of have our preset and then you'll just want to go ahead and kind of update um, your time first. So I'm going to go down here to the middle and let's say I cannot wait for my vacation on June 24th. And I want to celebrate. <laughs> so I want to know exactly when I'm going to be going on vacation down to the second so I can OCD obsessively pack with it. Okay, so I've told my countdown exactly when I am going. Um, and then once you save it, it's going to, you know, tell you, oh, I have 106 more days. Like, this is not fun. But so we can style it a little bit better. You can, you know, change up your font right here. You can change your source code, but it's so big. So let's go ahead and just resize this. And then um, let's pull a color. Let's pull a summer color. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that from my palette, open it back up, paste that in. Okay. So that is one style. And for the mobile, it is pulling kind of that um, we told it to go 60 pixels. So you'll want to go in on your mobile and um, just scale this embed down. So you can go 60 and then it will kind of go smaller. You can adjust your embed box if you need to, but it's still quite big. So let's go 50. So that is kind of how you tweak, you know, your mobile. Okay, so that is one style. And then we also have another one that is um, kind of telling you days, hours, minutes, seconds, where the first one, it had the days, hours, minutes, and seconds in it. If you would like that to kind of spell it out, all you'll want to do is come down here to the bottom. And for the output result, um, we're telling it exactly what we want it to say. So you could easily change this to, instead of D, say days, um, hours, 
so on and so forth. So that'll update right there for you. Okay, but down here we have um, kind of like a um, carded view, I guess you could say. So when you open this one up, um, it's going to be styled a little bit different. It's kind of using span classes and lists. So like anything bulleted list, and we are kind of customizing this a little bit different. Um, so we have multiple font bases within this because um, I want my numbers to be different than my days and hours. So when I open this up, it's going to kind of say, okay, these are the fonts I want to pull from this. Um, this is my list. So this is pulling in everything within these. And then <clears throat> your um, span is what we're going to override. So this case is for your um, your titles, so your days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So you can kind of customize this however you want. Um, depending on the size, you'll want to adjust your margins or um, if you wanted to come in and put a background on this, you could easily do that. Um, and then this span down here is for your numbers. So you can make this bigger, you can make it smaller. Um, you know, we could just easily tweak this. And then we'll give um, our whole, no, we'll give our list a little bit extra. So we'll go background color. We'll go white. And we'll see how that does. Okay, so that's going to require a little bit of tweaking, but as you can see, you can easily update these. You can see where, you know, your padding is and stuff like that. Um, but if you were to give that a little bit more padding, you could give it a border radius and then you'll have um, a beautifully styled um, content or a countdown timer. So that is how we do countdown timers.